Yo, what is up, everybody? Hope everyone's doing well. Kicking ass, taking aims, and obtaining. We're here with another Tempest route. Uh, Tempest. <laughs> remastered, though. Anybody, any, anybody tempted by Tempest draft? Yeah, anybody tempted? Tempted much? Uh, well, you know what's got me tempted? Time warp. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a good one. It's a good one, yeah. It's a mythic rare. I didn't know they had those back in Tempest. Yeah, I know. Me either. Um, <laughs> other good cards in this pack. This guy's good. I'm not even gonna like click it to make it big because I <laughs> I don't I'm too yeah, don't scared. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mug significantly nerfed by the lack of yeah stacking of the damage. The stacking of the damage. Yep, for sure. Um, this guy's good. Shadow, but you have to discard a card. But yeah, time warp. That is. Well, what does Shadow do, Nick? For those uninitiated. Okay. Shadow creatures can only be blocked by other shadow creatures. Mm. And they can only block shadow creatures. So it's like they're in their own realm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah the shadow realm. Yeah. You, wow. you took the words right out of my mouth. I did. Okay, so this pack has two good flyers. This one's a little bit better because it's just more power and can put on top. You know, it's safe. But Gravedigger is the best card in the pack. It is pretty good. Mm -hmm. You know what else is good? Dothy Jackal. Mostly One, because it's a two, jackal. Three, also, no, actually, it's good. It's probably, like, one of the best black commons. But I think Gravedigger is a little bit better. That's because Value Town, you know? Super nice. So it's, it's five mana... Destroy target blocking creature. Yes. But it's also Definitely just a three mana. Play. It's just like a two mana, you know, unblockable creature. A three mana. I think I'm just going to take the flyer. Just stay on color. Um, Interesting. Wow. I don't know if it's that much worse than that other card. So. You know, it's interesting yeah. because there's more... I feel like there's more shadow creatures than flying creatures in this format. So flying is harder to deal with than shadow. Uh, I might... That is interesting. I might... Out of this set... Yeah. Sorry. Out of this set format, shadow's like... It's basically horsemanship or like can only be blocked by whatever. It's just basically unblockable. Yeah. This pack's got some good cards. Pacifism. Uh... This guy is good. I mean, three a four mana three three with regenerate is good. Uh, troll. Yeah, it's a troll. This guy is unblockable. I mean, not kind of. Yeah. Uh, uh, a shade. Shades are good. Mm -hmm. I, I'm kind of tempted to just take. I mean, it's not great, but I think I'm just gonna. What would you take here? Probably pacifism. All right, we're doing it. Pacifism. We passed on the fism. Um, I mean, because so. that guy doesn't actually have shadow. I mean, he doesn't actually have like unblockability, right? Yeah. Like you just said earlier, like a lot of creatures already have shadow, so it's like three mana for a two one. That's a little overcosted because it has a quote unquote ability that every mm -hmm. other creature in this set ha also has. Mm -hmm. Shackles is pretty mid. No, like, doesn't untap. Have to put it on a tap creature, which can be annoying. Oh, um, blue spell now. That's yeah. Um. I mean, I like this guy's all right. You know, Drake's fine. Know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Leaves the battlefield, draw a card. That's a very blue card, though. Mm -hmm. Blue, blue for a one-one shadow. Yeah. Um, whenever a creature is dealt damage, destroy it. You could take that and hope to get some pingers, but eh, let's just take the player. Yeah. Is it? Is there like a particle sorcerer in this format? Uh, yeah. There's a blue one. Mm. And a red one. Oh. This is a card I was hoping to get. Yeah. Anarchist? Yeah. Anarchist? Yeah. Uh, return time warp, taking multiple turns. Yeah, this is insane. Can't be blocked as long as it's attacking alone. That's terrible. Uh, One five. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. That's bad. Um, <laughs> We're at a five. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, yeah, I, I I think Anarchus is good. Seems good. That is that is probably the worst static creature I've ever seen in my entire life. Four mana. Four. For a 1-5 that can't be blocked if you attack with only it. Yeah. Insane. Oh, look. Meditate. Skip your next turn, but then you take an extra turn. 
Okay, uh, that makes sense. I actually do like this card. <laughs> I don't know if it's any you good. Draw but... four cards. <laughs> well, yeah, draw four cards. It's either that or another anarchist. But you know, how often anarchist. do you get to play? Yeah, how often do you get to play meditate? You can meditate yeah. every day. Just wake up in the morning and take a ten minute break. You know. That's true. You what were you gonna there. ask? What were you gonna ask? Um, I was wondering how good red is in this format because uh, I don't know. Is Sweet card, right? Yeah, I don't know, but I like red. Would you play two of them? Uh, if I have multiple times, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I did a draft earlier today. It was really good. I had the the blue version of this guy, right? And I realized I had more sorceries than instants. So I was like, Oh, okay. Like, mm, I don't know. So I ended up destroy target artifact creature or land. Yeah, it deals three to you. Oh, okay. I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's probably what we take. I didn't know Red could do this. That's crazy. It yeah, just says destroy creature. Sure. That's yeah. sick. But you, it's like, you see, it's killing it, the creatures, and you, you, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll take it. Well, I don't know. Get, like three copies of that now. Oh, uh, Twitch. Twitch. Which is kind of like Twiddle. Yeah. You know my favorite Twitch? Twitch.tv slash obtain 24-7. Come on, check it out. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite Twitcher. That's kind of what his face looks like before he, he logs in. <laughs> that's him pressing. Uh, what, what is that app you're, you're using? Mm. Uh, stream. Stream? Yeah. Twitch? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, Streamlabs? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Pressing Streamlabs. Let's take a land that can be a creature. Fuck it. I don't know if it's any That's good. That's the original. Um, what's his name? Celestial Colonnade. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think of this guy. I don't know why, but I feel like he's he would be the kind of guy that like just thrusts his hips forward, you know? Like, mm, oh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Like, that's his dance. Hands up in the air and just thrusts his hips oh, in different he, directions. He, He's a huge fan of Rockefeller. That's what I think. Rockefeller? The, yeah. the Rock. Yeah. He's got. First of all, he's made out of rocks. So that's yes. Fun. And yes. then he's also throwing up the diamond, you know? Mm -hmm. Target creature can't regenerate, so it's a four mana 3 3. <laughs> I guess that's what we're taking here. That's really funny. It's just I like, feel like. Oh, you're... I don't know. You think Black's getting disrespected? I mean, I don't know how good these are, but. I mean, I feel like it is. I don't know. How good was Bottle Gnomes back then? Uh, it's all right. I mean, I'm gonna take this thing. thing. Sure. Uh, there's not there's like no artifacts. Oh, we can take your favorite card. <laughs> I mean, that is my favorite card. I mean, look at the art. The artwork is savage, right? No, and that's what sucks about it is because the art is sweet, but the card is so bad. <laughs> Guys, it's a one five. <laughs> a one five. And it's unblockable if you attack with it alone. Who's, <laughs> who's blocking a one five? You're on a you're on the clock, the twenty turn clock. True. Oh my god, Valorant stronghold. Okay, we're going black, dude. Stronghold is insane, right? This card is unbeatable. Uh, I don't know about all that. The creatures aren't good in this format. <laughs> no, I mean, that's for you. Yeah, I don't know about any of the creatures. Um, Infinite anarchists. Yeah. Equals True. Inf eight. Infinite time warps. Yeah, that's a lot of man. You're, and all you're doing is drawing anarchists, you know, and like, yeah, and you have to figure out how to put it in the graveyard, and your three colors. You're you know? playing a land, right? You're playing a land. You're drawing a card, right? It's, you're drawing it's only, anarchists. It's only twelve mana, dude. To, yeah, I'm, that seems awful. <laughs> insane amount of turns. Yeah, infinite, and then you time out because you haven't done anything. That's fair. Mm. I don't know what I'm even. I don't know what I would take here. I don't know. This guy's, oh, he's you know. a scriber. Yeah, that, that guy returns instants. Yeah, I had two of them in my last draft, and then I was like, wait a second, I have one instant in my entire deck. Um, Tough. Maybe time ebb? I don't know. It's like bad sure. tempo. Let's just take Aftershock. I don't know. Oh, Curse Scroll. Now that's a fucking bomb. Yes. This gotta be great, right? Uh, or this has to be good. Is it any target? Yeah, any target. You just name a card in your hand, and you fucking shoot something. Hell yeah, that's you know it has to it's be. It's not gonna kill. It's not gonna kill our one five. No. 
not a grindstone. Let's go or mana leak. Man, this pack is goaded. There's stun in this thing, which draws you a card sometimes. You know what's a really good card in this pack? Mountain walk. This guy. Whoa, that guy is intense. Yeah. He gains you four life. Yeah, right? it's which is a lot. <laughs> Get out of the way, war elephant. It's yeah. Like, I'm me. I'm a soldier. Look I'm at soldier. this card is interesting. When you control a creature with toughness two or less, you sacrifice it. Yes, you have it's to play big advice. boys. Yeah, it's yeah. Armor um, is grindstone like a win con? I don't even know. Is mana leak playable? I don't know. I don't see why mana leak's not playable. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I feel like it would be a dead card sometimes. Bad top deck. Um, you know, guys, this is the same dude who like loves taking counter spells in like fully powered formats. Yeah, but those you like. You know, like in Invasion, I always got flooded, you know? And I feel like this is that type of thing. I don't know. I don't know. I got me. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess we'll find out if it's bad or not. Yeah, I'm not sure. I really don't know. Look, guys, look. Here's a three-mana 1-4, which is not a 1-5. But it is... It can be blocked. Really, yeah, it can be blocked. It's yeah. True. Unfortunately. It can be blocked all the time, I suppose. <laughs> Whenever a sliver becomes blocked, that sliver gets plus one plus one. Each creature blocking. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, what is that thing? It's called rampage, I think. That was Turn cool. two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Muscle sliver. I I don't I don't. Know. Dude, slivers is like goaded here, huh? We saw a lot of slivers the whole time. Yeah, maybe we're supposed to be slivers. It's probably too late to awful, right? Uh, um, I mean, we have the flying sliver. Can't be that bad. That guy just is a 1-1 one, one flyer for two. Yeah, I guess that's not bad. Eh, doesn't seem great. But whatever. Who cares? I'm just trying to have some fun. All slavers get something. Fire bigger breathing? faces. Yeah, not uh, bad fire breathing, but fire breathing. It would, is first strike better? 2-1. Uh, I mean, it's better on defense. Yeah, sure. You tell me, you, you said you 3 0 this one time, so mm -hmm. like, what is the. What was the average casting power and toughness of the creature you're playing? <laughs> one ones. <laughs> it felt like. One, okay. Not. Two one first strike is insane like, against the one ones. Uh, yeah, like everything had one toughness. It felt like so every creature was just a tiny little dude. Yeah, so I guess first strike is hella good, is what you're trying to ask, right? Yeah, I'm asking how good is first strike. Wow. That guy's fear. And he's a 7 5, dude. That guy's huge. You have to sack a guy. That guy's a demon. Why is he just a dude? Phyrexian human. He's Phyrexian. You know? That's wrong. He should be a demon. He's, he Phyrexian be a human. Demon. It says dot dot dot. Maybe it is demon. You don't know. It's gotta be with an ETB to sacrifice a guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, what we can't. Play. We got tele the I mean, Telethopter. This guy's alright, I guess. I don't know. It's playable. I mean, we're clearly in the wrong color, you know, like no doubt about yeah, it. Yeah, green X is definitely getting past me. Green black is so oh, yeah. oh my god, mindless atomic on that curse insane. That's no, it's not. I don't think it's two a counter. two counters, and then you could remove two counters to draw a card. It's like it's you paid four mana to draw one card. You asked me earlier, how are we getting anarchist into our graveyard? I just oh. showed you Hulk. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the Hulk, the big boy. Uh, yeah, like, Root Wall is hella good. Yeah, we're in, oh, we are in the wrong color. Whatever. Um, it is what it is. This guy was, I had one of these in my deck and it was good. It just blocked so much. Creatures with shadows, though. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Two mana for a 05, which is almost like a 1-5. I feel like we just win with Scroll Rack. That's, like, how we win every game. I mean, it's, it's a good way to win, I guess. You want to take stun, maybe, because it actually... You're doing this for signals, I guess. Ah, I'm just doing it. Yeah, I'm Don't just taking me. stuff. Yeah, yeah, aftershock's gonna kill us, and then stalking stone's gonna kill them. Yeah. Does it destroy a land? It does. I feel like there's something's trying to be said here. Take the foil land. We don't even get to keep it, but we'll put it in our deck. Uh, what do you mean by that? What's trying to be said in terms of what? Like, this is a 3-3. Three, three, mm -hmm. Right. And this destroys the land and does 3 damage. Oh, I see. 
Yeah. So you think like a, a secret tribal is three something, three <laughs> sprinkled throughout the entire... No, well, it's like that this is a land, right? I don't know. Mm -hmm. like, and that one says destroy land. Yeah, it's it's basically like stocking stones is what's causing Okay. It's so you're saying the rubble. Uh, yeah, I get gotcha. you. Yeah, sure. That's that's beautiful. That's an interpretation. You should you should be journaling this, man. This is these are treasures right here. Yeah, I hold on to. <laughs> hold it tight, close to your heart. That's right. Keep it down, dude. I wish we were green black. <laughs> All right, what's this guy do? I mean, it's a dragon. Blind <laughs> when there's a battlefield sacrifice, and unless you sacrifice two mountains, deal. Would you pay six mana for this? I think I would. I, yeah, I'd pay four too and sacrifice two mountains. <laughs> I mean, that's awesome. It's huge. Yeah, who's killing a five five aftershock? I don't think so. Yeah, nobody. I actually do think this is a great card. It's yeah, definitely better than model gnomes. I mean, it just like it just like ends the game so quickly. And I mean, guys, look, we're we <laughs> we have our other secret dragon in our cyborg. Secret dragon. That's right, Dream Power Prowler. It's Why is... always ready. He's a dragon. Four mana for a one five, yeah. That'd be the worst dragon ever. And that guy, that guy's a four mana for a five five flying. Yeah, true. But he can be blocked if he attacks alone. Oh my God, Rolling Thunder, snap that up. You're cool. Oh shit! Yeah. All right, we're in the right colors. Best, best and now, we, and we have two anarchists, dude. Yeah, yeah. We're in the right colors. What's this guy do? Uh oh, it can may turn into a bunch of one card. ones. Yeah, I see. this card's hella good too. But I think Rolling Thunder. Not got... as good as Rolling Thunder. That seems amazing. Does this? Oh, I need to target. Deals X damage divided as you choose among any number yeah, of targets. Target. So it's not even like Fireball X and Y. It's just yeah. X. Will's deck would hate this card. Dude, this is incredible. Because it does not. It's not a single target. It's just like yeah. Yeah, target all the things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dude, that seems amazing. I think our deck's great now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot better than it was, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. Before that, our, our highlight was uh, uh, Time Warp. And, so, and, uh, here's my game plan. New game plan, right? I love it. Yeah, let's hear it. Uh, I'm gonna, we're just like, all this early game stuff is only to get us to this later game stuff. I agree with that. So, uh, like... Lightning Blast is just insane. Yeah. This can just, kick, you know, win a game on its own. Oh, one of my opponents, uh, he, at the end of his turn, he paid six life to draw six cards, and then I just Lightning Blasted him and killed him. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking awesome. Um, yeah, but, like, I would like to get another one of these and stuff like that. Just ways to stay alive. What's this thing do? Two mana, zero, zero. As enters the battlefield, sacrifice any number of creatures. Be pow uh, power becomes the total number of power, and toughness becomes the total toughness. And then it has fire breathing. This guy's a secret dragon. For sure. That guy is a secret dragon, yeah. Yeah. That's weird that you brought up secret dragon, and then we actually get a secret dragon. Is this card playable? That's the question. I like. don't think so. <laughs> you're you're kind of two for one yourself, and then it's still exposed to dying to things. Yeah. It feels... Feels really bad, but maybe I don't know. It's it's the antithesis of our earlier plan, which is to say, like, forget. We just want to play dudes just to block until we get our mm -hmm. time warp anarchist combo yeah. rolling thunder. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I think Whisper of the Muse is a good card. Curiosity is also a good card. Yeah. What about this thing? Just two one. Ah, it's a three drop. I would just take it just for the curve. Oh well, we got the secret dragon. Okay. Cool. All right, a secret dragon in the sideboard. I should have taken. Or my bad. Yeah. Uh, I mean, well, this guy's that seems huge. Seems like a win con, right? Humility would be great if we could cast it. I mean, can we cut blue? We only have four blue cards. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of them is time. Yeah, true. All right, let's just take. I don't know. I guess. <laughs> I mean, it seems like it would be good on the stay alive I plan. We're not playing mock fanatic. Like we were talking earlier about playing a bunch of crappy guys just to block. Mm -hmm. and you're playing. You're taking a six drop. All right, all right, all right. 
So I feel like it's like anti what you were saying earlier. Yeah, but that kind of seems good. That's fair. Five mana, three three first strike attacks. Each other attacking creature gets plus one plus zero until that strike. That seems good. Merfolk yeah, leader also right. seems hella good. I like a, I like me a Merfolk leader. I mean that will. That five drop's insane, obviously. Yeah, the five drop is very good. But like we have an aggro card. It's not a. It's yeah. not a play a bunch of crappy guys and block. But yeah, I which think Merfolk leader is that's its specialty. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I feel like if we had taken those what, what last two cards, yeah. mm -hmm. if I had taken those last two just good red cards, you know, just like big beaters, you know, yep. Um, yep. I feel like not very, the only decks that are running us over will be the, you know, the, uh, the sliver deck, but I don't know. Is Blood this, is just a removal spell. we get to activate her, right? Yeah. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about this thing? Uh, it's a brain. It is a brain. It's not a brain. It's a... Well, I don't even know where that is coming from, you know? It looks like it's the two halves of a brain. It looks like mean? a brain, but that also looks like a bunch of baby slivers inside of it. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's like the... You know? Uh, can't attack or block a run. Yeah, it's tough. Flunkies is a great aggressive card. Yeah. We'll just take this thing. Also, there was a re that. reanimate in that pack. Yeah. Insane. This guy's... But... He's just a five mana four four. It's actually not that great. It's like has downside. One of my favorite cards from from this block mm -hmm. is Rabid Wolverines. Can be us. Okay. Because it was it was one of the first magic cards I've ever seen, and like the the uh, the set four was Exodus. And what's it do? Like bridge. I don't know. It's just a shitty four four for like six mana or something. Okay. Uh, discard a card. This thing gets shadow. I'll play I mean, it. It's just a you know four mana three three. It's fine. Yeah. We can also take like another two, two one first strike. And take the bottom gnomes. I like me a one four. Don't you already have a bottom gnomes in your side? Yeah, I know. I'm about to put it back into the deck. <laughs> uh, okay. Main deck in that one. We're not playing the one five though. No. Nothing's gonna make us play that. <laughs> Nothing can get me to play that. <laughs> um. All right. So we'll we'll just you know what we'll do here, but. Yeah, just play the cards that you want to play. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this if we play like a slow deck, I think this deck could end up being cut up that guy because it's pretty bad. This thing's probably pretty bad. And Curse Scroll seems worse when we have a bunch of expensive ass shit. But. Um, okay, Rabid Wolverines is a 5 mana 4 4. Okay. For each creature that blocks it, it gets plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember that guy. The flavor text? Is there any other kind? Nice. That is a good flavor text. Yeah. Yeah. Summon Wolverines, guys. Not <laughs> creature. Wolverines. <laughs> Wolverine. That's right. Uh, I think I liked Wolverine, and I was like, this guy is, this thing is the worst. This guy is Wolverine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not playing any of that. What does Shadow Storm do? What does that card do? Shadows? Oh, it does two damage to all creatures with Shadow. Wow, that's really good. That's a great cyborg card. Yeah, it is. Yeah, definitely. Sh shadow cards are like, they're typically overcosted for the stats that you're getting. So two mana is like basically infinite. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel like it kills almost every shadow creature. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Does Except this like the look... six mana ones that are like three threes or something. Yeah. Does this look good? I mean... I mean, it looks fine to me. It's all right. I don't know, like, what something we would play over this thing. Yeah. I mean, right. maybe Dracoplasm is actually just goaded, but I, I feel like it's not. The the pseudo dragon. The um, art's really cool. Let's see. What would we sacrifice? On two would just be a mock thematic. Well, I'm not saying on two. What would be like a good sacrifice? Like, uh, uh, a good sacrifice would be like we. We play our Wrathy Dragon, and then they pacifize him it, and we're like, all right, here's our other dragon. Yeah. So it's, it's basically to, like, react, and it seems like a lot of the removal spell, like, if you look at Flowstone Blade, right, it's like an enchantment, mm -hmm. uh, and, like, that's how people are going to deal with creatures, then Dracoplasm is a lot better, right, because you're kind of, like, negating the fact that they're 
pseudo removing removing your guy by you sacrificing it. Uh, it also makes bottle gnomes a little better, but I don't know. Like, I guess you can't like sack it, sack it, right? It has to just die to the yeah. dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like what I'm thinking is like, see, like this is okay to sacrifice, but it already has flying, and it can return. You know, it's like it has protection on its own. You know, sure. like bottle gnomes, you don't like. It's not even. You want to be sacrificing this for something else. This thing like has utility. These guys have utility to be sacrificed. Looter has utility. Like nothing. Like this guy's just a you know a big ass flyer on his own. Like the only yeah I don't think there's anything worth sacrificing. The only card that would be worth sacrificing is activating a stalking stone and then sacrificing that. And it's that is eight mana. Eight mana. Yeah. You have eight mana, three three flying with uh, fire breathing. Yeah, like. That just seems like far too. Get the foil land in there, and then get it in there. Uh, I like how our blue cards are double blue, double blue, double blue, double blue. So we have to run seven. It seems okay. We could even make it. I mean, our, our red cards are not that mana intensive. Yeah. Except well, like flowing stone. I double think. blue or double red, double red, double red, double red. Right. Yeah, but I mean that stuff you're not playing on curve. It's like, that's your big spell turn. You have like at least six mana, and then it's doing stuff. What? Rolling Thunder? Yeah. I mean, I'm hoping to play this guy on turn four. <laughs> no lie. I will 100% do that. Alright, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. Yeah, I think this deck looks pretty sweet. I would, I would have fun with this deck. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see. Again, like, I've never really played this format before, so I'm very yeah, interested me. in the, the tempo of it. You know, like, how fast or how, poor or how slow it is. I ended up black, blue, red in both. Mm, that's curious. I also had time for. It. Yeah. yeah. Might have had something to do with it. Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> David. Oh, I know this guy. Yeah, me, me and David go way back. I think I do know this guy. I think I do. On a, like, person, on a personal level. Yeah, I think so. Maybe. All right. Well, now's a good time for you to like dox him. He's like, "Oh, is this David? Uh, David Yao from middle school?" And da da da. You know. Yeah. Damn, you kind of threw. You didn't play your foil land first. True. Oh, Sus behavior. All right, we got all our good cards. I'm gonna put this on this guy. It's unbeatable. <laughs> uh, very beatable, actually. Activate fire breathing. Whoa, it's not fire breathing. My guy's just dead. That's oh cool. shit, that might actually. Wow, that actually could uh, matter. I Wait, this guy's more aggressive. I guess. That's funny. <laughs> I like how they're just know. looking at the bug. It's like, it's like a four one or something. What? Right. What? That's not cool, bro. I was gonna blowstone blade it, man. You, you missed out on value. I actually don't think you would. He paid one life to do that. Nice. Brutal. All right, Dan, let's play another swap. All right. He's playing the deck we should have played. All right, all right. Uh, dragon on top. I'm dead dragon right now. Bullshit. Man. Interesting that we're playing so many islands, and yet we've drawn zero of them. We have seven, I think. A lot. Hmm. I guess. There it is. Uh, Let's right. go. Okay, I'm doing what it. Do you think the chances are that he has a counter spell? Probably counter spell? Yeah, I don't know. But some way to deal with this? Probably about 100. But I don't care. 100%. Different ways. Yeah. Wait, if you sack your, your foil one, then he definitely. Ah, uh, did I? You didn't. Yeah. But if you had, that's the price you pay. Yeah. This is the life we chose, the life we lead. Equivalent exchange. A shiny mountain for a shiny dragon. <laughs> he just drew a card. What is this guy doing? He drew a card, that's what he's doing. Dude, five mana draw card. Come on, dude. What do you think this is, Exodus? He bounces it to our hand. Oh, gosh. Good <laughs> <laughs> God, I guess. I think, I think he's going to. Oh, Harrow? Okay. Oh, Harrow. Don't like this art. Uh, I kind of do. It's he's pretty basic. Five but... colors. What is he doing, dude? Yeah, I don't know. He just got two mountains. What the fuck? Well, I'm saying. I'm worried. 
All right, this dragon's gonna kill him though. All right, we need the looter so we can loot the rest of this stuff to like. Could I just get a different? Could I have done of... this and just like? What? Oh, just all in on this dragon. I mean, I don't think it increases your clock by that much, honestly. Maybe not. It's still it's what it's four turns either way. I think. No, I mean, I could I could have easily made it three. Turns. Can do seven seven okay, so seven. Turn easily. seven. Uh, fourteen. No, it's still three turns either way. Because it's twenty one. Twenty one and twenty is no difference. No. Seven plus seven plus seven is three. Five plus five plus five plus five is twenty. Four. Yeah, Definitely. because it's nineteen. Oh, uh, yeah. Still, still increases the clock. But no, it increases the clock for sure. It's still three turns. No, it's four. Five plus five plus five is fifteen. This guy's yelling at me, guys. Defend my honor. <laughs> In the comments below. Defend, defend my honor. Defend my honor. All right. Okay. Draw this guy. Island. Damn. Wow. Scroll like it's not something you want to see right now. Uh, not really. But you know, it could. It could increase the clock. I think. It, it could. All right. I'm gonna discard this. Oh wait, it actually could. Hold on. <clears throat> Alright, attack for five. I mean, this guy just might do it. We just, we just gotta think yes to Kark, right? That's what Curse, Curse Curse Scroll does? Choose a card name? Yeah, you just guess. Can we, can we empty our hand? I mean, I'm gonna play Mog Fanatic Mog as well. Fanatic. And then next turn we pitch, we draw, pitch something, and then we can just start doming him. Yeah. On the flow stone plan. Yeah, it's on the flow chart. That's right. And that chart is uh -oh. written on a stone tablet. Uh oh. Okay, <laughs> so sorry, speed. Dude. Dude, play. Dude. What what is this... doing? No, man. What is he doing? Oh, he's drawing more cards. Yeah, All right. Well, I think is we just. Like a payoff in this format for that? Like, I don't know, man. Or is he just like, I'm playing blue, so I don't know. All right, he discarded that. That wasn't doing much. He's not playing a lot of shadow cards, so I don't think we'll bring that in. Uh... Mm. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fuck, dude. Okay, so we need to discard. Um... We could discard time warp and oh well, and get it back later with anarchist. Yeah. I think I just want to just get rid of this guy. Yeah, I'm and... doing that as well. Pack for five. Unfortunately, it's three to activate yeah, scroll. Three. Right? Yeah. God, three so much. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if we hit a land here, we would have gotten him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been sick. But I still think we get him. Yeah. It's like he has to deal with this, has to deal with this. You know. I think we're in pretty good shape. But, oh. Oh. God. Damn. Is that, listen, if drawing cards was the point of this game, he's destroying us okay. i definitely know dave he he is a card drawing machine yeah he's a sift enjoyer yeah sift enjoyer for sure is he, is he also built like karn mm -hmm. so him. uh no he's not made of silver oh, okay what if he wears a lot of silver you know because he has like uh rashes on the skin for non-silver um when his skin touches non-silver Surfaces, non-silver surface. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of my exes actually also had like a silver allergy, so every time I get her stuff, she would be like, "Please, if you're gonna get this for me, please make sure it's silver." And I was like, "All right, you gotta be." She didn't actually, but she does resold all of it. She's a pawn like, shop. <laughs> it all works, baby. It gets you there. Yeah. You're gonna buy me that dildo. <laughs> Make sure it's made of silver. Make sure so. I actually was <laughs> powder silver. Uh, silver. Rash for a while. <laughs> but, you know, she forgave me. Yeah, of course he did. Anyone would forgive that ass. Of course. Come on, dude. Okay. Uh, attack for five. Yes, sir. Are you just dead, dude? This wrathy dragon just got. I forgot we sacrificed two mountains. I'm like, why are we only on three lands? I swear to God, we hit more lands than this. Okay. We're doing something. What do you here. got? What do you got, dude? Uh, 
Oh, buyback. Oh, did he cast it with buyback? Definitely no, it went to the graveyard. Okay, so I'm gonna draw and discard because I'd rather have an island. You'd rather have a what? An island than a mountain. Okay, yeah, for time warp, sure. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, I don't think Mana Leak's doing anything anymore. Not gonna get us there, you know. Not gonna do. Okay. Um, did, we, did we double down on the Wrathy Dragon? I mean. Or... Are we just playing the numbers? Just one and three? Because we all need to hit him twice with the uh, scroll back, right? Yeah. Uh, I feel like because he didn't capsize or do the buyback. Mm -hmm. You think he's representing a counter spell? Well, for single blue, he might have mana leak. Um, well, we only suck our lines if the thing actually comes into play. True. All right. Then in that case, yeah, I'm doing it. I think that's the right play then. Sure. I mean, we still have three for, for the curse scroll. Yeah, we that's still keep well. three for curse scroll. Oh, I sacrificed the spoil now. That's good. That's how you keep them. Um, yeah. I did it as a worthy, as a sacrifice to the, that's right. to the Arathi dragon gods. Arathi. Arathi. Wrap, wrap the wrap flame the in guy. thwine. Kingdoms will be twine. Wow, this guy's a fucking rhyme rap, god, too. Rap god over here. Oh, yeah. No, that's why. Okay. okay. This guy's okay. a silly bitch. All right. Uh, the, no disrespect, David, but you are silly. The, the question is, do I activate Squirrel Wreck in my upkeep when it's a 50-50 guarantee? Uh, is it a 50-50? No, it's not. It'll be a one and three. Yeah, it comes back in the hand. Um, well, it's only going to get worse. I mean, if we don't draw land, it's just getting worse. Well, it's a, it's a land now, I guarantee you. Well, well, why don't you just Merfolk Looter if you're going to loot, right? Uh, oh, did I, I forget to do card. that? This, yeah, I forgot to do this. Yeah. All right, draw a card. I did forget to do this end of turn. Or something. Okay, there's your land. Um... Do you want to just play a 3-2 instead of like, yeah. sacrificing lands? Yeah, play this instead. This guy's basically lethal. It's the same difference. Yeah, yeah pretty much the same. So, yeah, I'm just going to jam this guy out. Man, flying is so good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if he wants to capsize, that's using up most of his, the majority of his mana, which he's going to have to do, you know. And, yeah, I like that. And if we ever get to this, he capsizes, right? We could, like... Mm -hmm. Time warp and do stuff. He's putting this on top. Okay, that's fine. Uh, now, if you want a 50 50, we can. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I think we should. Because we're not drawing the land for sure, right? Well, we could loot her, see if there's a land underneath it, and then discard the anarchist or something. Yep. We also just have, like, Lightning Blast in our deck somewhere. It's just four damage, you know? That's true. He's only got 11 cards left in his deck. I mean, I don't think there's a way to win if he has zero cards in his deck. That actually makes a lot more sense for him to be sifting now, now that he's like looking for his like, cap size lock or whatever. That makes a lot more sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this is pretty dirtily what he's doing, but... I, I mean, I've enjoyed... This has been a... Good game of magic for sure. Yeah. All right. Capsize also tar like can targets uh, this, right? Sorry. It can capsize can target uh, a curse scroll. All right, we're doing it now. I believe. All right. What's it gonna be? We're which one? Do what do we name? Yeah, that's my question. Oh, well, it's uh, my ask. I asked oh, it to okay. you first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anarchist first, I guess. Okay. Because, you know, for, for Anarchy, what do you got? He's returning the looter? Well, I guess I activated uh, in response. Yeah. Because I want to get closer to, uh, like, a land. Um, I'll discard Anarchist. Okay. okay. Now we get this in hand. All right, now it's not a 50-50, unfortunately. 
Now I think we named Murpho Gluter. Sure. Because it's, it's going to get us there. What's it say? Mace Burst 2. What, what is that? That's cool. I'm typing it in capital letters. That's the. Yeah. Yeah. Ephesus. I'm yelling. <laughs> Murpho Gluter. Reveal time warp. No. All right. Draw land. No. All right. Next game. Next game. <laughs> Okay. I don't know. I feel dead now. <sighs> <laughs> Legit, I feel dead, but uh, you know, we'll get there the very last second. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So ten of these eighteen are land. So that's like. That's over 50%. Oh, he did it by back cap size. Okay, he probably has another, like, survey or whatever. Yeah, that's fine. So the first all attack is my 5-4. I'll take it. Yeah, we're technically at, like, 20 life because we have the gnomes. Yeah. Dude, I wish I had fire breathe that one time. Yeah, he would have been dead, I think. So that's that's another line. That's something to keep uh, keep in mind next game. A lot of things would have to work out exactly the same to make that reasonable. Mm -hmm. But okay, so here, what are cards that we would be worried about if we play the dragon? Right. Capsize. He's got edict. Uh, oh yeah. Capsize time ebb. Um. Okay, but like. I'm still willing to do it. It's not like I'm not going to gamble. No gamble, no future. That's right. No, we live in the future. More than half. More than half of my deck is land, so I'm going. Well, well, that's not a land. Well, bullshit. Um, so it's up one and five. You ready? Um. Yeah, I guess. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I'm gonna name Murpho Luter this time. You have to. You gotta name the same one over. Well, no, you same name Time Warp now, right? But oh, now he's gonna return our land? Oh, uh, brutal. Okay. He's a monster. Okay, name Mountain. <laughs> Mountain. Mountain. There he is. Obtain for Mountain. No. Fucking whore. Fucking whore. It's tough. Right, I'm off. I'm. We're we're done. We got this. Relax. No, we we'll don't. Have, we'll have, we'll have like a turn. We're dead. We're not. We're, we're twelve. Dead. We're fifteen. We're so dead. I mean, we're probably dead, but play it out for the fun. Fuck and set. So, I what? So, I totally. Oh, you didn't sack. I did. I clicked it. I sacked it, and you know, Moto glitched out. Turn off auto yields. Why are you auto yield? I literally have turn auto yields off, and yet it's there. You know what, chat? Well, auto yield you out of. That's I, I'm just section. gonna uh, comment section. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Blizzard's fix your game, dude. That's right. Spike colony. What is that? Uh, it can that move counters. It can move counters. Yeah, so kind of. That look good. Whoa. Aftershock, huh? I mean, it's so dead. I want to draw land. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we hey. do. Uh, Are we gambling or what? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if we're going to die, we're going to die on our terms, okay? Oh my god, this is so brutal. I hate it. Don't ever. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can capsize, yeah. buy you can back. Capsize sure. Uh, sure. Wall of fusion. Don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. Murphic looter. No, I've don't already need typed. You, dude. Murphic looter. Bet you. Bottle nose. Fucking. This guy's crazy. All right. We're still at 12. <laughs> That was wild. What a game. Damn you, David Yao. Da fucking David. I'm gonna text David right now. 
You're a bitch. <laughs> who, who locks people out with campsites? What's wrong with you? Yeah. He doesn't have any mountains in his back, right? Uh, didn't he? Did he? Oh, I don't know. He definitely had mountains. He looked for dumb mountain. I remember that. All right, then let's get rid of this guy and get him that guy. Sure. Now so we're let's get rid of that guy. Rid of that guy. Which guy? This it. A furnace proof. Oh, I don't think I got that mess in there. Wow, All right. Glass would have gotten us there too. Uh, Sorry, we got um, one mountain. All right, I'm keeping. Okay. Like he's dirtling. Okay, so we'll we'll be fine. I feel like I don't know. If you're dirtling, don't you want to like aggressively mulligan to like a uh, aggro hand? The problem is that our deck's not full of aggressive cards. Got some. <laughs> they I exist. Mean, you have like a four drop, and you draw a card every turn, so you could be okay. Double blue four drop. That's true. Oh shit! All right. Let's draw. You did me so dirty last game, Chris. Draw. Your turn. End of your turn. Name Mountain. Might as well. Mountain. Fucking close to home. It's a creature. It's a dude. Hey, Ilya, did I lose ya? I think we lost Ilya, guys. He died. Alright, um... I mean, I can Flowstone Blade this guy. I could Aftershock it. I think I'm a Flowstone Blade it. Because Aftershock can kill anything. Get in our guaranteed two. Okay, that I'm gonna aftershock. Land in our handout, make the first scroll better and better. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry about that. Yeah, I agree with all the things you said and did. <laughs> I was uh, I was gonna call with my aunt. Uh -huh. My sister's birthday tomorrow, so oh shit, up, uh, going there situation. Nice. Is it the big four row? Uh, no, because that would be I would be the big three eight if she was a four row. Okay, so I'm not yep. ready for. It. Uh, well, it doesn't matter if you're ready for it. It's gonna <laughs> no, <laughs> it definitely matters. Bomb right around the corner. What? Not uh, close. What? Silly. Yeah. One of my friends was like, oh, you're over the hill. I'm like, what? Over the hill? Dude, I'm only 35 with some extra days, you know? Don't sweat it. You got so much time. Over the hill over the people who quit on themselves, okay? I think over the hill means, like, root past your prime. Yeah, which I think is ridiculous. Uh, uh, I'm going to name roll Rolling Thunder, Thunder yeah. yeah. We're going to roll them with this. this That's right. Nice. It actually worked. Oh, get domed. Be afraid. Be so very. We actually have, like, so much damage in our hand. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sifting. Yeah, you better sift for an answer. Bitch. So, we play this guy. We know we're drawing. We can activate card again. Yeah, we thunder him again. Yeah. Name the same card over and over, I guess. Mm hmm No free info for this guy. Shatter, Shatter. all right. Yeah, Forget you. Safe. I like how he's doing this as opposed to the guy that is a creature. Shoutouts to Dudley. That's right, Dudley. Damn it. Lightning blast. Oh, oopsie knows. 
another one. Gutter trash. Gutter trash. All okay. Right. Let's play or discard a guy. So a shadow. let me let me hit you with something. Eh, right, that's not it. good. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was gonna say like we could rolling thunder this for one in his face for the rest, but then he can still just block it. Well, if he regenerates, it's... Oh, I see. So you're not really benefiting. Yes. what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, I just think playing the 3-3 three, three is fine. Yep. Now we have, like, a, a reason to... And we, look, we discard... Getting lands. Yeah, we discard anything that besides these two. Like, that seems yep. good. And I didn't remember seeing a single shadow creature out of him. No, so. he played one. Three cards in sand. We know he has a capsize in hand, though. Yep. So, I don't really just want to, you know, give him an excuse to use it. Um, can he? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he can capsize and regenerate. I'd rather just play out these lands, make our Rolling Thunder better. Sure. Um, here's, okay. So here's my... What I'm gonna say. Well, no, I then he just rolling. I was gonna say I just attack with both. Then he blocks, regenerates, and capsizes this guy. You know, then we're not getting anywhere there. Okay, so he's at ten. We need to deal ten damage, right? We can deal right now. We can deal ten, right? No, see. So okay, yeah. With lightning blast, he's at ten. Oh, how, how much is the the thunder deal six, right? Right now it would be six, yeah. So he's at four. <laughs> when you said he was at ten, I got excited. And then I looked up and he was at fourteen. It was like you <laughs> fucking bitch. Yeah, blue baller, you know what I'm God, build suspense, building tension. That sucks. All right, your turn, buddy. <laughs> this sucks. Nah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Nah, I think we lose. All right, that's the attitude I love to hear. Oh. It makes me want to play more magic than. Well, when you see, when you think you're dead, you know it's good to be realistic. I actually would have thought he was gonna like uh capsize a land. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a line, I guess. I like how we're lower on time. He's the one doing all this dirty, stupid shit. Yeah, but we're like talking. Yeah. Better. This deck has been sweet. All right, what's this return? Oh, Sift? Yeah, he's dead. Sure. He's playing Anarchist, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Regenerate is, like, underrated, guys. I think I just Lightning Blast him now. You do a Blast him. It, it's so annoying that he has fucking... So he wants to keep up Capsize? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> now he's at 10, guys. Mm. Alright, boom, boom. Cast this guy. Alright, your turn. Uh, he sifts and plays a land he can capsize. Day. Guarded the land, played a swamp. We sided in that dude, right? Don't walk out, yeah, we sure did. Okay. I don't feel dead anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, don't put that card on top of my library. Yeah, time ups are really mean magic card. Oh, actually, your uh, the four four is actually relevant, right? Because it can cancel what? out the regenerate from the sky shroud troll. Oh, it's a three three. Yeah, but it stops him from regenerating. Okay. okay. Yeah. I think we have two, right? I think there's one. Yeah, they're both in our graveyard. I mean, in our sideboard. No, there's what? No. Yeah, you put you border it out. I think. No, I don't think it submitted that version. Oh. Okay. I think we have one. Oh, we're not even playing the fucking stone guy. Stone dude. 
Oh, the land? Yeah. Man land? Yeah. Well, because, like, we, I don't know. We could cut what well, mountain for it. But we have, like, mm. four double red cards. Yeah, and so. we have, like, four double blue cards. So, you know, only seven islands. So I didn't think that would. I mean, you're better building next to me, so I don't know. Hmm. Nice of five four. Yay. All right. So this is. Can we do anything cute here? Nah, he just has capsized with buyback mana up. Stuck. I mean, you kill his oh. five four and his C two. Yeah, and then like, lose Rolling Thunder. I mean, that doesn't seem like a winning line. Uh, I mean, neither is just passing the turn. But maybe you're right. Maybe we just seven. wait until we have 12 mana and we just shoot him. Yeah. That's like also doesn't feel good. I can't believe he shattered a fucking thing. Son of a bitch. I mean, I can. That's, that's pretty. Yeah, it was a good play. It's like he sided it in. It's like he had to draw it super early because it would have been so good. All right, um, your turn. I just want to. I mean, we need to draw that fucking little idiot. Uh, the mountain walk the door. Yeah, because yeah. sure. then that and this guy in tandem can get through some damage. Roll clutching. True, true. A little clutching around these parts. Soon enough, this guy is going to be lethal. I like the seventh edition art of this guy. I like seventh that. Seventh edition. Yeah. Spined worm. All right, I'm looking up. Oh, is that the one where he's yelling? Or is that crawl worm? No, crawl worm. Oh, yeah, this is the chilling one. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Classic. Oh, man, Goblet Ranger. <laughs> this guy's sick. Alright, take five, go to twelve. Dude, seventh edition has so much iconic art. Mostly because that's probably the set that I saw the most of. Yeah, like when you first started magic. magic. Blaze. Oh, my God, Blaze, dude. Returning Shatter. Nice. Raging Goblin. Seventh edition art of Raging Goblin makes it seem like a playable magic card. <laughs> he raged at the world, at his family, at his life, but mostly he just raged. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> that is good. That is good flavor text. That is great flavor text. Dude, Pete Bulleringo did get some work here. If he attacks with this guy again, I'm going to block him. Dude, if he attacks yeah. this guy again, I'm gonna read Raging Goblin again. Okay. But he had another shatter? Jesus Christ. No, he returned it. Oh. Uh, so we're taking a lot. It's in your graveyard. Why is it in your graveyard? Because he just cast it again. Alright, yeah, land. Me. Doesn't even do it. We're one mana short, but I'm gonna do it anyway out of pissed offness. Ring? Click head <laughs> to show if it works. <laughs> Done. Model all now. Like pay one more mana. <laughs> right, I can... Fuck. GGs. Good job, dude. GGs. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. You're such a bitch. Nah, that was a good man. That was a good. I don't hate him. Yeah. I do hate him. I, I do hate him. Yeah. <laughs> But most of all, he just raged. Yeah, Harry. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, they call me the Re Goblin. Dude, that was he annoying. He read his wife. He wait. What did he say? He read at his wife. He, he read at the, the world. world. He read at the world. At his family. At his life. But mostly, he just read. Mostly, he just. Mostly, he just read. <laughs> Yeah. Fuck. I mean, that was a good match, man. I can't be mad, but I am. If you can, or you are. I can, and I am. <laughs> Sam, I am mad. Sam, tell... The original 
crawl worm art. You got me on the worm art now. Worm, All right. worm spin. Wow, 10th edition, not the best one. Like, yeah, there wasn't dude. a 10th edition suck. Yeah, it's true. The only uh, thing 10th edition did that was good was... Uh, well, it's not even good, really. Is they removed damage on the stack, and I much prefer damage. <laughs> not only did it have no good art, it changed the game for the worst. Wow, Forever. Anyway, the alpha art of Crawworm makes him seem like some Godzilla level monster. You know, six four, never seemed so big in my life. Alpha Crawworm. Yeah, Crawworm in tenth edition looks like he has arms, but he doesn't. Yeah, yeah, the iconic, fucking iconic. I kind of want to buy this. Why what? Oh, that version of it? Yeah. That's cool, aren't it? It's just, the, you know, it's like, how many cards from Alpha could you, like, afford, you know? Like, uh -oh. just buy all the cheap ones. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You know lands, I guess, I don't know. The lands are sick, honestly. The, ran the lands are sick, yeah, I agree. Oh, you just get a sinkhole? Wow, that's $100, Jesus Christ. Yeah, like... Lanowar Elves, 200. Fireball, 100. I still don't like the start of Lanowar Elves. I think it's mid. It's just iconic. It's not that it's good or bad. The one. It's not objectively good or bad. Grizzly Bear. Well, why is... Like, I understand these all being career price. It's the Juggernaut. Why is Juggernaut 500? Because it's the Juggernaut. The Juggernaut, bitch. Smacks you around, dude. Sword, a thousand dollars. That one I understand. Islands are thirty-three. Yeah, I would buy up all those. This seems weird. Meh. Let's see, shatter. No, don't want to talk about that card right now. <laughs> Dude, the seventh edition. The only time that card was printed that way. D disintegrate. I was gonna say D incinerate. Dude, I can't believe they only used Raging Goblin, the art from 7th edition, on one edition. That's insane to me. It breaks my little head. This guy didn't draw enough magic art. Breaks your little heart. It does. It's very upset. Can we get into a game? It's been fucking cool. Oh, did you queue up? Yeah. Four minutes yeah, in the queue. You're beating yourself up over losing to some guy. Next time I see him, I'm going to beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach you to beat me in a Tempest Draft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Black Lotus, only 80,000 points. Oh, Ilya, I have a question. I love questions. The one I'm ring. Them. The one ring. Yes. Can it be bought out of any type of booster pack, or do you know, like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, let me show you. You're saying if there's, like, a collection, collector's edition, does that increase your chances? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Like, so there's this one, right? Mm -hmm. The 2023 Magic the Gathering universe is beyond the Lord Man, of the I Rings. You're reading that. It's so funny. The, like, yeah. it, can is this one the only one it can be in, or can it be in one of the regular booster boxes? Uh, I don't think they were explicit on which one it's bog gettable from, but I can look into that if you yeah, want. Could you? Because uh. I brought it up to Stephanie, and I was like, mm -hmm. "Let's." I brought up there's only one in the world, and she was like, "Let's get it." <laughs> and I was like, "Let's." Yeah. You want to buy a booster box and open them? She's like, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> and she was so excited. So, but I want to, you know, like not open the wrong thing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> There's already people opening. I've already seen somebody like there's a soul yeah, ring. Like it is from the collector. The collector. It has to be from the collector's one. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Man, that blows. It does blow. That's probably why the price has spiked to like five hundred dollars for, like, what is it called? Speculatively, just a bunch of random do nothing cards. <clears throat> I think your match mode started. Oh, nice. Uh, deep. 
what have I mm -hmm. Um Yeah, I wouldn't throw away five hundred dollars. No, I wouldn't throw away five hundred, but I like we want her to buy a box. But oh, because like you want her to experience the disappointment of cracking packs yeah. for no reason. I mean, it's just fun. It's just, you know, we were gonna make a you know an event of. It. It's not so much, and you know we get to keep the cards, and you know it's worth it. I would have been a down for it, but not if this armored yeah. Pegasus would have never never dared to block our Mal fanatic. Would Back in the day, it. yeah, that's right. Back in the Dizay. Um, um, yeah, I think it, I mean, it could be fun just for the experience of like, cause she's never done that, I assume. Yeah. But I would never like spend money on a box. Yeah. But all like. well, except when I did, um, yeah. but that was like a thing that we did together. It was mostly for us to spend time and like BS and, and play magic. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's what we're doing. Right. <laughs> I mean, we could draft them, I guess, you know, just. 1v1 drafts. Can you imagine? Yeah. There but, is like a format where it's like pack versus pack. You guys get one of every land. Yeah, it's two of every land. Okay, there you go. Two of every land. I forget how you do it. Play it out. Uh, so you, just, you crack whatever pack you have, you shuffle up the cards, and you mm -hmm, play. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> what do I play first? 3 2 or. I think I'd play out this uh, 3 deck. 2 because you can't play the 3 2 after the yeah. Dramathy Dragon. I could, but. The, Oh, you're, like... you're gonna be in a hole, yeah. I don't yeah. really. That's yeah, free damage right here. Do you plan on blocking? I don't think so, right? No. Yeah, protect. Um, this guy can block though. It... This guy. Well, this guy can't. I guess I'll the three two. I would probably trade with the log fanatic. I'd be fine with that. Uh, puts him to. Damage. Uh, three two block the the one two for sure. Excuse me. Yeah, it holds back the one two, but I might be willing to block the mod fanatic. Mm, I don't know. I would take a hit from the monkeys. That's fine. Oh, oh, more shadow guys. Okay, so we know that wrath card is going to be insane. Yeah. Yeah, I'm blocked. You're just blocking. All right. Yeah, because of this other guy, I can't play. I think this prevents enough damage for this. Um, Might have been correct. I don't know. Kind of like done. We take this, we do this, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I like me a race. Um, with the dragon and I'll attack with the bottle gnomes. Sure. Because then I can trade this for that. Yep. Makes and sense. every and one point of damage actually makes a big difference. All right. Cool. Thank you. Um. <sighs> that is great. Dragon. He just passive as a zip I cry. <laughs> that means we would side in that. You know. What the plasm card? Yeah, yeah. probably. <laughs> I just looked at the card Goblin Gardener. It says whenever this thing is put into the graveyard, destroy target land. That's so funny. I like that. It's probably the Makes sense. Lore, lore appropriate. Oh God, fuck. Damn. What do you got? Tapper. I guess a tapper. Master oh. decoy. Wow, look at this art. Jesus Christ. It's a decoy. I understand that. Why is his? Why are his eyes like that? Because he's scared for his life. Because it's only one turn. The guy looks like the dude from uh We just dead next turn? We just die next. Oh well no, we do it. We have bottle gnomes. Yeah. I guess this guy I can kill off this guy to prevent 
Um, I attack with this guy again. Yeah, get him with that Wrath of Dragon. It's not going to be able to attack much longer. Yeah, it's not going to be able to do much of anything much longer. Yeah. True. Unfortunately. Um, I think I'm gonna mog fanatic down this guy before it gets bigger. Sure. It's like yeah, preventing, well. it's like preventing three damage. Yes. You also are not giving him the ability to interact with you, so that's fine. Um. Oh, good. It gives the team, everyone, not just Shadow Guy. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. Jeez. Alright. Two. Five. Damn, dude. Capper is so annoying. Um. Yeah, can't. Can't win, don't want to show him. Into. Oh, we're pretty good. Uh, yeah, hella good. This guy, he had red, right? He was red white. Yes. Okay. Add in. Um, Probably cut an anarchist or something. I was thinking an aftershock. They're just like none of his creatures are worth. Yeah, that's true. Killing and dealing damage to ourselves. Maybe one and one. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Sure. Well, anarchist. Well, Thunder is also insane against this deck. Yeah. We're right. just gonna get him, you know. Let's double after. Alright. Uh maybe this guy because <laughs> when he attacks alone, he can't be blocked. Wow. That's also one five. Mm -hmm. Just a insane rate for a four drop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright, you wanted let's keep I think it's good because it teaches you what bad is. You know, it's good in that way. Uh, hopefully, I mean, scroll rack would be good with this hand. Oh, this guy's also amazing. Did... Yep. I don't know if we have we multiple. Pre we pre board it. We just didn't draw it. You know. Yeah. I mean, I just think it's a reasonable card to have. It's such a good defensive creature. Yeah. Zero five is pretty good. Ilya, whatever yeah. you're, whatever you're eating, I want yeah. some. I want some. Oh, the brownies will brought me. Brought oh. me for my birthday. Ah, so sweet. Yeah, my the boys helped me out. Nice. Well, that's a good card to draw, but you know, can't do anything with it. That's true. Get in there for one. Team one ones, or team one power guys. The Raging Goblin. I wish I had. I wish. I asked for Scroll Whack and it delivered that. All right, so he can't block. I'm going to activate this. I want to get more. Um, God, what do I discard here? Furnace. Furnace, dude? Mm hmm. That was what I was going to play this turn. But I guess the Wall of Diffusion is just fine as well. And then we also get down to having one card in hand, and we can start activating this during our upkeep. Correct. Yeah, that seems hella good. Uh, if I was to give you brownies for your birthday, they'd be yeah. ones with... Uh, brownies? Well, weed brownies, but they'd also have... Uh, Laxatives. Did I tell you about that time? These kids in middle school bullied me. They, because I didn't have any money in high school or middle school. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So I would always hang out with kids, and sometimes they would give me their food or like you know scraps or whatever. Yeah. And one time this kid gave me a Seven Up, or I think it was a Pepsi. 
And I was like, oh, this is awesome. He's like, yeah, there you go. <clears throat> you know, I'm sorry for, like, picking on you. Da, da, da. And I was like, oh, well, that's really nice. Thanks. I got it. And then they just started laughing immediately after I had some. Yeah. And I'm like, what's so funny? He's like, oh, we put laxative in it. I was like, oh, well, that's not nice. <laughs> I felt fine. Like, I didn't, I didn't, like, have a loose stool or anything like that. Yeah. I was just like, oh, okay. All right. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Question. Uh-huh. So, curse scroll and Mog Fanatic to kill this guy right now? The fuck? Oh. Prevent the next three damage that went done to you? Any, Any target. Okay, if we hit a Latin right now, if we hit a mountain, yeah. what happens then? I would just rolling thunder this for three. Okay. You Which I'd rather save thunder. rolling thunder for later. Because yeah. if, you know, if let's say we drew a land, right? I right. still would have rather done this. Okay, but if we draw a land, we're still we're still doing this pro rec play, right? Yeah, and if we don't and we miss and this guy can start saving anything for the rest of the game, I'll be pissed as fuck. Alright, sounds like you made your decision. Yeah, I mean, this seems like it would just be so... This card is would wreck us. All on its own. I mean, it's a really good card. Rolling Thunder. Mog Fanatic. I guess I could have attacked with Mog Fanatic. Nah, you know. I forgot that it's not a tap ability. All right. I still would like to draw a mountain, though. Keep my hand oh. empty. Yeah, sweet. There you go. Um, attacking with Smurfolk Looter. Oh, yeah, we're going in. Yeah. Check with 0 5 2 if you can. Uh, it has Defender, so unfortunately. Oh, okay. I think the wall is that black bead that's floating in the air. I'll be honest, I have no idea. Yeah, I just can see it. Sweet. Okay. Um, we haven't seen a pacifism. I wouldn't be surprised if we had one. Mm. Okay. I don't know if that's any good. I don't, I don't think it is good. I mean, just because it's coded rare doesn't mean it's good, you know? I agree like, with that. Dream Prowler is an uncommon for some reason. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just run it back. Uh, we just need to have a scroll rack. Yeah. Like, first scroll? Sorry, not scroll rack. Yeah. Right, let's do it. Good luck. Damn, my man said good luck twice. Good luck. Good luck. Shouldn't wish him that much luck. Never wish anybody that much luck. He also has a dog for an icon, so you know he's a bitch. Dog. Um. <sighs> I mean, it has our best card. It has two ways to return it. But only two men. I think this is. Uh, yeah, this is a mole for sure. All right, this hand. All right, rewarded. Put back that island. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, time warp's literally uncastable. I don't even think it's relevant in this matchup. Yeah, but I think it's good. I mean, you know, we're going to be racing with this guy with the mountain walk, right? He's, like, better than Shadow. We can kill off the guy. I think it's good. Okay. Seems I like it. Your choice, ultimately. Uh, yeah. yeah. I like a smooth curve. You Let's do it again. All right. Let's run it back. Oh, good draw. Young Dreezy. Nice, and he didn't even play a two drop. I'm, I'm about that life. You fool. Don't you know what you have done? 
you've cursed yourself. You gotta be really careful with Mog Fanatic because there's been times I've sacrificed them. It's like, oh no! <laughs> yeah. Why would you do that? Can you choose not to do that? I think can you choose? Good. Could choose oh, nice. not. We, we have a pseudo, pseudo uh, shadow as well. Shadow. This guy's cool. I mean, shadow cards have cool art. This one's probably one of the better ones. Art, yeah. yeah, sure. I agree. I think the, the Lord guy is like way spookier just because he looks so like from a different plane. Uh, shadow is, plane, for example. This is so hella good. One drop, two drop, three drop. Yeah, even our like very slow deck can curve out. Yeah, pretty good. I guess I would have like last round, right? Would have been a, something good to mulligan too. In game two, and I was like, this hand's too slow. Yeah, but, I did convince you otherwise. Oh uh, man, that's a good card, but it's fine. That's who I am, you know. But, yeah. You can't help it. It's who you are. Uh, I mean, it's an aspect of me, for sure. Oh. Okay, that could end up being good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you feel about flow stoning your 2-2? Your Iron guy? It's fine. Wow. Damn, that's it. Flow stoning. I think... <laughs> <laughs> like, alright. Hit him with a question mark, like, alright. GG's? All right, whatever. Fuck it. He's like, I gotta go home. Sorry. Yeah, it's six o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I'm in my internet cafe right now. So. Yeah, it's story. Yeah, six o'clock. Uh, story time. Mm -hmm. Stories are gone. Speaking of six o'clock, Stephanie might be getting off right now, so she might be giving yeah. me a call. His mom's like, "Come to dinner, honey." Uh, All right, gotta go. Uh, well, you know, no, because Pete, that's not a, that's not what happened. Because people that do that. Just let the time run out. Because mm. they're pissed at their own life. So they want you to you to suffer too, so they would just make us wait. You know? I feel like you're you're reading maybe a little bit too much at this point. Uh, I think uh, well, no, I mean no, I know no, enough I'm about not, human No, I'm not. <laughs> I, I know people's how the human mind works and you know. Oh, okay. Human philosophy, you know, and yeah, it just he, that he looks, seems accurate enough to me. I'm Pop. putting that on your I'm putting that on your gravestone. I know enough about human psychology and philosophy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I knew I know the human psyche. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I'm a mind bender. Yeah. yeah. Some of my closest friends call me mind freak. Yeah. You know. No, they call me uh what's that guy's name? Fuck. Yeah. David Blaine. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even who it is, but you're I... thinking of Chris Angel. You fucking <laughs> no, they call me David Blaine. <laughs> I'm going far out. Yeah. yeah. Some people call you Pen and me Teller, but I'm the opposite of Teller because I talk a lot. <laughs> true. Well, I'm also like Pen is very skinny now, and I'm still fat. So. Ah, uh, yeah, true. We're He's great. On it. I love that guy. You're going to learn to shut the fuck up, and I'm going to get skinny. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't think either of those are in real <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, <good> one. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna look at my phone to see if it's like muted and stuff. You've been calling me all day. <laughs> nope. Yeah, you guys, you guys love talking to each other, huh? Wait, do you really? Oh shit, maybe six forty-five. Okay, you're in trouble. You're in, tr you're in big trouble, Mister. She's like not answering me, huh? Looks like you're not getting anything tonight. She's not reading you stories, that's for sure. Oh, okay. Ugh. Jeez. 
Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not like you're going through some shit there. Are you good? I was. I forgot my. I was charging something. And I unplugged my phone charger. And did you, did you was like your phone yet, dude? You've no. been there for a while. Yeah, I've had the same phone for like four years. It's good. Yeah, I know because I bought you the fucking charger that you're using now. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, the it can oh, my phone can only be, be charged wirelessly. Dude, it's like on a it's basically on a skillet size charging port that he's just like, all right, I have to rest it at this angle exactly for my phone to fucking charge. It's insane. It's insane yeah. what what people are willing to cope with. I mean, it doesn't like it's easy. Good. I'm glad buy a like a new thousand dollar phone. Sorry. Okay. Don't sponsor. I keep being paranoid. They're not a thousand dollars, but okay. Yeah, they are. Look, look, I literally paid a thousand. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Uh, okay. new Samsung. Why? Why would you get a new one? Just get one that's like two years old. That's how old my phone is. You know, like, sixteen hundred dollars. Sixteen. Type, what? What is your phone model? Type that uh, in. S10. Okay. Samsung Plus. Plus, absolutely. Six hundred dollars. Refurbished, two fifty nine. I feel like your phone's older than that, but no, if this is it. I know that this. Is what phone. year did it come out? Uh, four years ago when I started streaming. I bought it because it had the best camera on the market at the time. I paid cash for my phone. I was like, give me that shit. What are you, a pimp? What is this? Yeah, I do. I do be balling. Speaking of balling, uh, my car, uh, oh. my car, I had, I owe one thousand dollars. Okay. And then my car is paid off, and I have a thousand dollars on my credit card too. I love you, man. Fantastic. You did like, great. Uh, the beginning of this year, they were probably my credit card was like maxed out consistently at like three thousand five hundred. And my uh, car was at like six thousand, so I've spent a lot of put a lot of money towards that. Oh yeah, makes me hype as shit. Debt free baby. Uh, what am I putting at the bottom? Like this guy, double blue uh, guy. Probably lightning blast. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah, just play. You play your guys. Play her scroll, curve out. All right, sure. It's a desire land. I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not about Cur that. Curving is a lot worse when you don't have your third land. <laughs> I mean, curving's a lot worse when we don't draw a second island either. We don't That's have true. a ton of so. You know, mm. there's six in the deck left. All right. I don't know. Oh, that's what my logic on that guy was. But, but, your argument is true. If I can get this guy into that guy, like it looks really good. It does. All right. Damn you, Fall Mountain. I could just name Mountain and have a fifty percent chance to kill this guy. Uh, yeah, or you could play your two one. And then during my upkeep, have a sixty percent chance. Yeah, right. Let's go. I like that. I like that. that sounds like more percentages. Mm -hmm. And this guy can attack for two next turn. So. He does. He's a snake. Have you been watching any of uh? Scared the most of. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Have you been watching any of the AGDQ? Uh, no. All right. What's your? I've been watching Sanctuary. It's pretty good. Sanctuary. I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, I said that sumo show that I was telling you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems less like a documentary. It seems like a drama, but still funny. 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 I mean, it's funny in the sense of, like, if you like watching chubby Asian guys wrestle. That do be it's hilarious. One of my kinks, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come on, man. We all know you're going to attack with it. Go ahead. Wow, another thing that dies to Curse Scroll. Yeah. Good this is interesting. Curse Scroll's a bomb, man. No, it is, it is very good. It's mythically powerful. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, that's the question, right? Yeah, let's start. Wait. Mount Tam. Nice, get out of it. almost unforgivable because it's written right there. 
Nice. We'll have gotten there anyway. Okay. Um, play the island. Do the same thing next. And you know if uh <laughs> I just think it doesn't have flavor text. I feel like it should. Busting make me feel good. That is that is a way to describe that. Um mm. Yeah, I think I'm doing it. Yeah. I mean I like to race, but he has two mana up, so it's possible that he has a uh, counter spell. Yeah. Mana leak is a card that we've seen. Unlucky. Oh, that didn't hit. Yeah. Rough. Um. Now the question is, do I play out my land? I think I. Uh. I mean, I believe so. Why He's not? not doing anything. All he did was play Mog Fanatic to kill our guy. He missed his land drop last turn. I could just try it again—a fifty-fifty. Um. Okay. Say I play this uh, land, and then the land next turn. That's six lands. And then that's four. We can't act. Um, what I like to do is play a guy who gives pressure, and then start spinning the scroll rack. Or, okay. sorry, scroll, whatever, curse scroll. I think having pressure, in addition to having a thing to ping, you're, like, making a side plan the main plan. And I don't I don't really agree with that. Like yeah, we No, the main plan is to stall and get value. Right, and then eventually win somehow. Right? I, I don't know. Right. I don't disagree with you. I just I I, I didn't want to do a fifty. Okay. So missing again and then not doing anything again next turn and missing our land drop last turn. You no, know, could just then it starts spiraling. Uh, uh, I guess I'll just play the this guy. Guy has a blue activation that you know might be relevant later. I mean, he does also make her scroll a lot better. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. I could discard this guy to make it guarantee a fifty, a uh, hundred percent to kill this guy. We'll see. I don't really want to do that, but I. If worse comes to worse. All right, he hit his land drop. I wouldn't be surprised if he has a lightning blast in hand. Like, he's had a lot of nothing, like four drops and stuff in hand so far. Because he didn't do anything last turn. And yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he has something like that. Four drop creatures. Um, okay. All right. I mean, this is fine. Yeah. It's not the best, but that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I like You could have just killed your 4-4, four four, but instead he's doing this. It's a 3-3. Three three. <clears throat> right. Um, I think I'd rather just get out this than Merfolk yep, Looter. I do like Looter, though. A lot. More than the I, I like next person. Turn clock. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like, too, yeah. But, again, I do think he has, like, I mean, now this was pretty close, like, saying he had Lightning Blast. Um, let's see uh, what he's got. In what sense? <laughs> they both have removal spells. You know, they cost four mana. Mm -hmm. Cards that were stuck in his hand. Sure. Uh, let's see, what does he do here? He... Trade the private. That's it. Um... I uh, kind of just do I give this guy shadow? Shadow. Uh, I don't see why not. Uh, because looter seems better, right? Like looting away dead cards to actual good cards. Like especially with right, anarchist, right. like we have multiple sorceries that we could then get stupid value and that would kill off this guy and everything in play and him, and then win then, you know. Well, I mean, you could still pitch the island to hit him for three. Because that thing gets shadow, and you can play looter, and then next turn you can make this decision a little better. Uh, I mean, we don't care about the island, right? Or do we? Um, We could, if we draw... I mean, our deck has some expensive stuff, right? 
and it's got like oh, Rolling Thunder. Warp and Rolling Thunder, yeah. Yeah, but I guess we can play Time Warp and Rolling Thunder. We can kill the one thing we need to kill. So I'll do. That. Fuck it. Casting this guy now. Fuck it. Okay. This does put like some Would pressure. Would you still attack with the uh, three two to see if he he chump checks you? Oh, uh, yeah. I guess I could have. Hmm. Oh no! You know what I should have done? I should have just attacked with both of them mm -hmm. and not yeah, discard so shit. Can... Yeah. Then he just takes three, maybe six if he's a uh, scared pussy. <laughs> But like <laughs> I just kind of discarded a card for nothing. Yeah, I should have yeah. just attacked with both. A little EDH energy there, or commander. Sorry for all you indie players. I'm sorry. All you all niners. I'm sorry for you. You should feel bad. Wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. Okay. What's that do? Uh, our creature can't attack or block or activate its ability unless we discard a turn card. Then it can do those things that turn. Interesting. Don't they use that card in a different card? It's like Drowse or something? Uh, it's different. But... You know that invasion card uh, yeah. that has like a moose sleeping? That's what this is like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Draw. Rolling Thunder one time? Rolling Thunder would be insane here. Lightning Blast is the bottom card of our deck. It's annoying, but... Yeah, whoever put it there was a dumbass. Uh, what, what I want to put? I want to put this. It hasn't done anything either. Uh, I don't know. So let me... He's just playing like two main deck Mountain Walk guys. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Canyon Wildcat guys. Who knew? Alright, draw discard. Uh, Alright. Uh, Alright, mountain or island, whatever. I could discard a land, then make now that seems so bad. Fuck this situation. I discard a land. Yep. Then I attack with both, mm -hmm. and I should have had I should have an extra card. Um, then I could play Anarchist just as a body. Mm -hmm. He attacks us for four, go to four. We dealt three. He goes to six, um, and then we have some live draws, and we have two looks. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, it's Sacrifice a Permanent? Oh, I don't know what this card does. Okay, I'm much... Alright, I'm about that. Yeah, we'll throw away our Foil Mountain. No, we don't have a Foil Mountain. Play yeah, we do. Play this one? Okay. Yeah. All right? That's right. Now I attack with both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seems uh, good. You can kill your 3-3 three, three now. Uh, if he double blocks? Yep. Um, but then it was like a 2-for-2 two two when we killed the Mountain Walk guy and he can't activate this guy anymore. Okay. Great. Uh, I kind of just want to play the Anarchist as a body. Sure. At this point, Time Warp or Rolling Thunder once is enough to win the game. Usually, yeah. Uh, I want to play the land, I think. And we do have the Looter in play, but we have this guy who wants to sacrifice lands. I guess we could do the Rolling... Make this decision next turn. Next turn, we'll yeah. Our land. Um, yeah. All right, I'm about that. All right, I wonder if he has that lightning blast. I put him on like six turns ago. Well, if he does, you're dead. So right. you get to be right, and you also get to die. Uh huh. Whoa, a shock or something. All right, there's something that does three damage clearly. Incinerate. De incinerate. De Lightning blast. They <laughs> called it. <laughs> Did you really? Nice. 
I mean, not nice, but you know. At least I called it. Nice. Dude, I called it. Sight in our canyon wildcat. Canyon wildcat right. I'm going to take out this anarchist. This is so bad, sadly. We never cast it. Plasm's not bad here, right? Because he does have that one card. What one card? Oh, that, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. One card. That card's not even good. I'm willing to sacrifice cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm willing to sacrifice two lands. I'll sacrifice a third. You don't think I will? I will. <laughs> okay. Keep talking shit. I'll sacrifice all of it. <laughs> yeah. Sacrifice them all. It'd be great if you can, like, mind slaver your opponent and then you sacrifice all their cards. Mm. That'd be tight. Uh, yeah. Some would say that. Do, 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 do. Stop sideboarding. Your deck's already good. Ah, uh, it could be better. Probably. Oh, wow. Yeah, this guy's one of my favorite artists, man. Who? What's his name? This guy? So there's this art for... Christopher Tom... Rush? Yeah. He's, a, he's no, pretty for, good. For Tom Wainstrand. Tom? Uh, I was looking at Windrake. There's no way you'll learn how to spell his fucking name. I'm sure that's rip. He's got he got like double dots over his A's. <laughs> Wayne Strange. Got that's what I thought you said. <laughs> Wander Strand. Wander Strand. Dude, just put in Win Drake, okay? Win Drake Seventh Edition. You got this. Yeah. God. That's impossible. <laughs> Winged Drake. You got this. Seventh edition, eighth edition. <laughs> you gotta, you can't do seventh. That's he did do the eighth. He did do eighth. Ha! Yeah. Huh. Did, well, yes. Yeah, the same way. He also huh. did the seventh, which is what I said. <laughs> All right, this hand looks Dude, good. You're such a silly bitch, man. Holy fuck. Anyways, anyway, this art really cool, but only in white border. Very sad. But he also drew capsize. You can buy the foil cool. one, and then it's in. Yeah, I don't want to. Only twelve dollars. Like lava zombie. If you ever heard of lava zombie. Lava. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, invasion Pirate cards, ship. right? That's right. That's right. It's black, red, and one. When you cast, it's a four three. When you cast That's it, right. you have to return a red or a black creature to your hand, and it has fire breathing. It does. It has shitty fire breathing. Does it two mana? That's right. Okay. Anyway, uh, sweetheart. <laughs> what am I? I don't know. Like the word Azure, this is what I think about when I think of the word Azure. Some some people like blue. I like a pinkish, fleshy color with blue accents. To me, a very iconic. Well, one of the first magic cards I've ever seen. I like how you changed it from, I like one of the most iconic cards ever to one of the cards I've ever seen. <laughs> one of the cards I've seen in my life. Wait, didn't I say the first? Sorry. Was it the first? Like, it was definitely one of the first magic cards I've seen. Yeah. I think that's what you said. I'm embellishing a little. I misspoke. Sorry. Uh, it is what you said, but I'm embellishing. That. It is what I said. True. Uh, have you have you guys played that EDH, EDH heads up yet, or you still uh, have the cards? Oh, how do you, how did you print out that sheet and stuff to print out cards so we can uh, proxy? I googled, I googled it. I think. Googled what? <laughs> I googled how to proxy cards, and then there was like a Reddit link to a website that lets you do that. And then I used that website to make a PDF file, and then I put the PDF file on a on a thumb drive. Graphism. I don't know what it's called, dude. That that happened like so long ago. I feel like it was definitely like six months ago, right? It's around your birthday. So it's definitely like January, like late early February. Hmm. Do you want me to look that up for you too? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can Google it. Printing yourself, proxies, is this it? Hold on. Probably. 
You're playing printingproxies.com. Yeah, I'm waiting for this guy. All right, all right, guy. He's a dumb bitch. He just drew a bottle gnomes. Okay, be excited. Do you keep up Mana Leak or are you you gonna play your fucking O five? Play my O five. Man, you hate Mana Leak. This guy hates counter spells, guys. Man. Comment below what your favorite counter spell is. So Nick can tell you he never played him. Uh I love counter spells. Blue player, as you know. I mean that's what you say, but I've never seen you play blue spells. You say I only draft blue. <laughs> you say it all the time. Yeah, I just like And that. then when I'm drafting blue, you're like, this is all you ever draft. And then when <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Check the vods. Check the vods, guys. Check the vods. You won't. Yeah. You won't. You won't leave a comment below when I've mentioned it before with a link. You wouldn't. You wouldn't do it. You're yeah. Coward. You're a coward. Oh man, bleeding rabbit. Come on, play faster. Yeah. You know rabbits are much faster than this. That's uh, debatable. Yeah, if he's playing like the tortoise, you know, he's like, I'll get there eventually. Let's see. Um... Let me check my phone. Make sure it's fucking raining. Uh, I'm paranoid. Is it this? It is this. Here you go. I got you, brother. God, I'm a genius. I'm so resourceful and helpful. There you go. Don't get this side shut down like you got the other one shut down, okay? Also, your time is ticking. Not that you know this because you stepped away. Do hey. hey. My turn. Land. Bottle no. Yeah. I'm gonna put this flow stone on this guy and then pump it twice and then he's gonna mog fanatic it and then I'm gonna sacrifice it, gain three life, and then who showed him we we'll just put on your shadow guy. That would be sick too. Because it's a defender. Unfortunately. Shadow guy in your hand. Oh. Yeah, why don't I do that? I like my play better. It is a better plan. That's the way I get to keep up mana. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You do get to keep up mana. -like. What do you actually think of putting it on this guy, attacking, hitting? I'm, I'm not against it. I'm really not. But I, I think they keep up mana. Away with. Uh, I mean, you can play the flowstone blade anyway. You can activate it once and like yeah. make it. So then it's just two damage. I'd rather just get out this guy. Fuck it. Okay. Let's just play out our big boys. All right. Yeah. Now that you compare it to, hey, how about I just play a three three? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is a better line. Yeah. How would I play this thing to make my guy a two two at best? Yeah. Could make it a three one and then second in response to it. God. You can actually because you need three mountains. Sometimes I feel like this guy. When I get really high, I just look at things. And... You know, it. they say, like, when you take, is it MDMA or LSD? <laughs> people see, like, green elves or whatever. I, I imagine they see something like this. Or those guys are on LSD, and they see the green elves, or blue elves, which is why they're blue in the center. Ah, uh, yes. You know what I'm saying? I always thought the blue in the center was the three light. Oh. That's the juice. So you gotta sacrifice him to get to the juice. You like crack him open and drink him. Mm. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. The first bottle gnomes I've seen, I think, was like from 10th edition. Which <laughs> they look a little more menacing than these guys do. These guys literally look like that's all they can do is give you life. True. Yeah. The other ones look like they fuck, you know? <laughs> they look like butt plugs. Not Did you watch that video the other day about uh the no the bottle gnome? The bottle gnomes? Uh I think it was clockwork gnome or something. It's like this guy, it's like, you know, it's that guy like who like, 
random card of the day, you know, or whatever. And yeah, uh does it he, deal five damage if you don't own it. Well no, it's he's talking about how like these guys like so they the first bottom or like gnome was an artifact and then for whatever reason they only made artifact gnome from then forward until like the D D set where they were like, Well we gotta have gnome from the D D set. Interesting. No, mm. I never heard about that. That's that's uh, nice. Yeah, all the gnomes are artifacts. Sure. I did never notice. Um So what do you think about the slow stone blade? <laughs> I'm about it. I'm about it as well. Let's get in there for two. We're on an A-turn clock. If you want me to do it one more time, he's he's F6. We could do it one more time. Uh, I'm too, I'm too, I can't do it. I can't. You're a coward. He's Look, he, off, he turned there off his F6. He turned off his F6. He's, he's probably F6 again. Let's do it now. <laughs> Dude, that, that one's funny. <laughs> Mog fanatic, mana leak the ability. <laughs> this is like the longest two one I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> no, no. Fuck you. Yeah. Get him. You should. You should. If you mana leak someone this bad, you should get three mana back. Yeah. Yeah. You should mana drain them. But but then I just mana burn with that. You know. That's true. He has four white cards in hand, guaranteed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We still get to Raffy him. Let's go, baby. Get him for two. Wait till after block. <laughs> Boop. The dreaded block. Alright. We're gonna do this a damage stack. <laughs> Should I like aftershock no, now? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll draw a mountain at some point. We will. Most of our lands are mountain. Never to see another one the rest of the game. I love how you're like covering the islands. Like, what if, listen, an island is basically a mountain waiting to happen. Yes, so. yeah, it is. Yeah. Who's to say? Yeah. There's no object permanence. He already cast one aftershock, so. Yeah, there's no way he has another one. What? The, destroy all creatures for <laughs> target player controls for each creature that died this way. That player gets two 1-1s. One I'm about this. I get six 1-1s. One one. Hell yeah. Mog. Dude, this card's awesome. Yeah, it is cool art. I love it. I almost played this on my goblin deck. I think you should. I like to imagine that this is one goblin. Like, see this? It's like, he's got a really big neck. <laughs> Dude, that, yeah, that token is insanely Dude, good. doesn't that look good together? Yeah. <laughs> like, unironically, it kind of does. Yeah, he's buff. Look at those traps, dude. Yeah. So... Yeah. So he has to block sack to kill a guy. He loses four, goes to eight. Then we play our human wizard and return nothing. Well, we can't do that because we, oh, no we mana. Well, we have fuck. All right, it's your turn. Bro, we sacrifice two mounds. God damn it! Whose idea was that? It was your idea. But he's still just dead. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Right, Where's our? Oh, that was Jesus Christ. This was game two. Yeah. Holy fuck. All right, let's play Manic Rage. I think Manic Rage is actually insane against our. I yeah. think you just want to get the game done. <laughs> I Yo. think that's also true. But honestly, putting plus two plus two on any of our guys just makes them unkillable. The problem is he has like multiple, like an aftershock and thunder blast. So we're just asking him to get two for one, right? Uh, but yeah, he also gets stuck on land, so... Yeah. I think it's still better than our second Aftershock. Alright. Yeah, his, uh, our, he does not have good... Oh. I accept that. What, does he have Shadow Guys? Blue-Red? He has a Mountain Walk guy. Uh -uh. Are you telling me I should cut all of them? <laughs> should be Mono Red, maybe. Maybe just go Blue-Green, just get every other card in there. This guy's our wing con. I mean, that is the sweetest Phyrexian art there is. Uh, I like Phyrexian Colossus, 7th edition. <laughs> yeah, because it's... Oh, okay, you like the white border? I get it. No, I, I think it looks cool. Yeah, I hear you. 
I legit like that card. I remember trying to play that card back in the day. You hit them for eight, and then you have to pay eight to untap it. Dude, our curve. Our one, or two, or three, four. Rolling Thunder for nothing. We, we usually win games when we curve out. Oh my god, he has an island in his deck. That's insane. Yeah, That's our wing sliver, but it's you know give something else flying. Yeah. But wing sliver gives other things flying too. That's true. <laughs> You're right. Got him. You did get him. Pick one. Bleeding rabbit. You better. I think he's gonna block. You think so? I would never block with my one wing flyer. Well, what's right. the difference between me and you? That's right. <laughs> you, you don't block you're when stuck. you're one when you're when you're supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen! I actually watched this video on this rapper called Cannabis. You ever heard of Cannabis? Cannabis. He ain't understanding this. Ninety-nine percent of his fans don't exist. Yeah, I know. All cannabis. right. Hello, Cool J knows. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. Actually got brought up in the video. I, of like, course it did, dude. It's the best <laughs> diss of all time, dude. Of all time. Dude, that is the best diss song ever. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> it really is great. I fucking I listened to that song just the other day. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know cannabis. He's not a bad rapper. He's not great, uh, yeah, but he's not bad. My my summation from that video was uh this guy is pretty good, but he might be a little bit uh on the spectrum or something. Uh, but nice. Also, he's really good at lyrics. It, he's like, you know, uh, like, the problem is he was, you know, well, it, it's like a uh, big, he's a big fish. He was a big fish, right? He was a good rapper, no doubt about it. But it was, he was in New York City in the 90s. Like, he had every other, the best of all time to compete with. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like, like post Pac and Biggie dying, right? So. Uh, no, I mean, I think he was around then. I think. He was gaining steam then, and then yeah. after, after like Biggie passed away, they're like, "All right, this might be your time." Yeah, but he never passed Nas or you know, uh, whatever. What's that guy? Oh God, I can't believe I can't remember his name. Uh, he's like Big L's underling that I never really like, but he's great. Everybody loves him. Small L. <laughs> he's, a, he's like a billionaire now. He's married to Beyonce. Oh, Jay-Z. Yeah, Jay-Z. I'm thinking about this yeah, Rolling I mean, Thunder. I remember. He has Manalika up. I wouldn't do that. Uh, is she, is I, she... I would attack first and then maybe play a 3-3. Three, three. All right. We'll attack first. I, mean, I like Rolling But what's... Rolling Thunder! Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Um, if you think somebody on a spectrum, you should watch a video about Dr. Octagon. Sorry, I only heard the doctor part. Dr. Octagon. <laughs> AKA Cool Keith. AKA, he's got like so many aliases. Dr. Octagon is yeah. a hilarious name. Dr. Octagon, he has a, you know, like a, God, Dr. Octagon. Dr. Octagon sounds like a beginning of a bar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is. Oh, he says it several times, you know? Um, uh, you should look up. I mean, the song Blue Flowers is just unironically an awesome song. He's got, like, uh, uh, Black Elvis. <laughs> That's a good song. Uh, he's got a lot of good songs. Uh Half shark, alligator, half man. That's a good one. <laughs> he's like talk he's like he's rapping about his uncle who's a half shark, alligator, half man. <laughs> half shark, alligator, half man, 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 half shark. <laughs> he's great. I love I love him. But he's super spectrum, man. <laughs> he's super spectrum. He's like super Not regular spectrum. Yeah. Super spectrum. Yeah. This guy should be able to block creatures with Mountain Walk. Mountain Walk, yeah, sure. 
That would, that would make him better. It'd make him what? Better? Better? Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right. I said, if you double down, guys, life lesson for you guys, just double down. Yeah. If you think or, you're getting embarrassed, just lean into it, and then yeah. it will be less embarrassing. Yeah, you're like, I meant to say better. <laughs> That's right. I said Bedler. Bed Midler. You know That's right. Um, I'm just Broodler. All right, so yeah, I'm just going to kill off both of his guys if he doesn't time out first. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Rolling Thunder, kill this, kill this, attack. I think you, you attack first. See if okay. he blocks, then you right. Rolling Thunder for more. All right. Easier. Half shark, alligator, half man. And half shark. Okay. <laughs> it's I love that guy. He's great. Uh, the song Visit to the Gynecologist, that's a banger. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, he's like it's like a guy pretending to be a, a woman at the gynecologist he's like oh how about you uh, just lip them off real quick or you know I don't remember exactly alright um I'm gonna kill the pinger and this I think yeah that makes sense they, they represent the most dangerous parts I like how the three disappeared and then I do this and it appears. It's like, there you but go, the, but the, but the, it's like, you know, in the video games when you're at red life and the whole screen is Dude, just turning red. I hate it. Uh, what, you hate the money star? No, you know, in like video games when you're at low life and like the, the entire oh, edge of the screen red. starts getting red. God. Sure. You don't like that? No, I don't. <laughs> Not particularly. Uh, I like that in WoW. I think it gives you a nice warning sign. Uh, let me look up the album. Which but it's here's the thing. Actual heartbeat in it. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. But like, here's the thing. You when you're at your lowest, right? Mm -hmm. And you're getting close to dying. You have to deal with like this really obnoxious thing, you know, and you're in your face screaming at you. Like, so you get more nervous, so you're more likely to fuck up and die. Yeah, that's why you play. Yeah. What do you mean? You're more in there. I mean, if it made you more focused, but to me, it would just make my palms sweatier. You know, my knees weak, mom's spaghetti, you know? Yeah, no, that's the best part. Um, like, if, you, if you're if you so invested in what's happening, and, you know, that makes you feel more in the moment, then it's even better. Uh, yeah, I, I see what you're saying, but I think the downside outweighs the... The benefits. All right, what are we doing about this ephemera round? I mean, this uh, is pretty I mean, we fucked up. Three. We attack for three, see if he blocks, play Mog. If not, we deal three damage. I mean, then he just discards the card and returns it to his hand and then recasts it. And we don't play anything, any, one of, any of our four drops in our hand. That's the worst. I think I would... Yeah, that's the okay. worst. I would rather... Like, we could discard a card, whatever the worst one is, and then sure. play out whatever the best one is. I think we discard this guy, yeah. play this guy. You play, you play that guy instead of Wrathy Dragon? Because if we, well, I guess, no, we could play Wrathy Dragon. It attacks into this guy, and all the cards are fodder for this, you know, at that point. So that's fine. Do what? Let's do it. Do what? Let's do it. Um, pack three. He has one card in his hand, but we don't know what it is. If it's a fucking aftershock, I'll be sad as fuck. I mean, I kind of want to play out this guy just to be safe. Dude, the Mighty Storm is know. such a good album. <laughs> who who deserves it by? Uh, Death Groves. Oh, oh yes, I like that album. Um, it's also just, up. I think I'm just gonna play out this guy. He won't attack no matter who we play. Next turn we can no. get out this guy. Cause he's a puss. He just attacks us for two. Whatever. I've never seen this actual card. I've seen like the the not this card, but the ephemerate guy or whatever. Oh the yeah. Ephemeron. Yeah. I've only seen the uh, planner shift one. Yeah, the one that uh, 
uh, has suspend. Yeah. yeah. That guy was really good. Yeah. Well, All right. Cards are pretty good. Also, he might play both the cards in his hand. Mm -hmm. And then we can, like, uh, like, then we can do that play, kill this guy with the Mog fanatic, right? Sure. All right, he is attacking. Okay. Why wouldn't he attack? I don't know. We're at 14. fourteen. He... All right, text for six. Okay, we go to eight. So if we draw a mountain here, that's probably the best case scenario. Yeah, that would be great. I'd love to draw a mountain. <clears throat> mountain. That's not a mountain. That, that's not terrible either. Um, uh, this guy's not doing anything, so I'm gonna sacrifice it so this guy can attack. Absolutely. With everybody. Good in there for seven. Good. Bench, please. We also might find out what this last card in his hand is. If it's Lightning Blast, is there a way we can play around Lightning Blast? If we wanted to play around Lightning Blast, we'd have to play Wrathy Dragon. Play around Lightning Blast how? What do you mean? Uh, the, the four damage to face. I guess. We have bottle gnomes. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're like, kind of. Not auto yield through it, you know? Yeah. And who would do that? Did earlier. Didn't do that. <laughs> who would do that? You the did game it did it for me. Yeah, that's why it's called the like, auto yield now. No, the game Partially chose yield. to do it. I did not. Interesting. Well, here you're like the whims of the game. Quote, yeah. Quote. yeah, like this. You know, this was me. I was like, no. Uh. Game, please stop. I'm going to try to talk you into not doing it. No home, no heart, no hope. <laughs> no hope. Um, so, Mog Fanatic, this guy. Mog Fanatic, we kill this guy off. Break. Yeah, I like that. Okay, yeah. Also, playing it. two guys in one turn is probably enough to kill him. Mm -hmm. okay. Do I kill this now? I think so. Now? Why? Because if he has like a pump. I mean, I don't know what red pump spells there are, but if I go to kill it and then he pumps it, I'll feel hella dumb. Okay. If he gave it plus three, plus three in response, that would be really unfortunate. Maybe he has Titan Strength in this format? I don't know. But it doesn't seem like something that... It seems like something it's that could chaos, exist. That's <laughs> okay, so now he, he attacks. I definitely block. There's no way he attacks. I mean, if he has Lightning Blast, he would attack. I mean, you have your extra life on board. Yeah, true. Okay. Yeah. All right, then I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. I... Oh, he just doesn't know. Like, he can't read what model take it. does. Yeah, I'll take it. Maybe he thinks I'll left six. Okay, he's got two cards in hand. He lightning bolts us, and then I sack it, and then he lightning blasts us. That would be, man, the lightningness. Well, they're like eight mana, so... Uh, What about Pyro... Is uh, that free one in the Pyramia or oh, uh, maybe he's switching control of guys, he's changing control. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's gonna like discard or return it to his hand. Yeah. I don't think that works. I don't see why it wouldn't. I could also sacrifice my guy in response right now. I'll do that. Yeah, I mean that's funny. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, so stupid. What a way to end this draft. <laughs> now we know the one card in his hand, so we can do this. Yeah, we should he gave it. us the way to sacrifice it. He did. Nice. I'm playing out another one. Guys. Get him. Yeah. Uh, you, you need to sacrifice him. Uh, it's too late. <laughs> I did and didn't. Mm. Yeah, I did need to. I mean, and I guess I did one it. is just as good as four. Dude, I like the idea of. Okay, watch this. Yeah. 
Okay. He drew it and then we actually had the bottle nubs. Wow. GG's. That was great. Uh <laughs> wow. That is the hardest I've ever worked for eighty coins or whatever. Yeah, coins. Yeah. We're Mario up in here. That's not even a one up. No. Well that was fun. Oh. I enjoyed that a lot. What did you think of the format after seeing it for like the first I'm time? <laughs> You're not a fan? Come on. You I'm loved it. I uh, I think I think magic starts in lower one block. That's what I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, starts. yeah. All right. I like shards block. I think uh, obviously, well, it actually starts in Ravnica. Obviously, right. That's when the the sets were a little more complicated. Um, uh, that was a very interesting format. I think the power and toughness of cards is very skewed. Like spells are still really good. It's obviously not as strong as like the you know the earlier sets it's not like alpha level where like all the spells were like power of nine and all the creatures were like four mana three threes so it's not it's not to that level <clears throat> um but it's definitely a lot better uh, aesthetically at least for me it's a lot more uh interesting than like invasion this set yeah <laughs> To me, because I, I think Invasion is just dreadful. Like, I love all the marquee cards from that set, but, like, just playing it is just boring. <laughs> I love playing it. I, you know I love playing the format. Yeah. I mean, Those cards are when cards weird. actually started getting complicated. That's, uh, like, the testing of cards getting complicated, for sure. Yeah. Um, well, I, think, I think Tempest is where, where I think Magic is interesting. It's still too slow, but it's still interesting. I mean, no, because, like, today, magic is just shit. Like, limited now, you just, like, you, there's no skill. You just play out your cards. They're like, oh, this card's better than this guy. Play it, boom, boom, oh. My opponent went first. I uh, curved out. I died. The, like, this, you actually have to make, re like, interesting decisions. Uh, the draft is really important because the power level of cards, like, being able to recognize, like, oh, this three mana one one pinger is incredible like what you know like and getting using this format as like a baseline of learning how to play magic and like if you can be good with these cards you're going to be good great with cards with a lot of abilities you know what i mean um i hear what you're saying uh i do think part of it is the cards that you grow up playing with are around this level of strategy so like the modern players quote-unquote modern players mm -hmm. um they're like what they identify as magic quote-unquote magic is different than what you qualify as magic because you grew up in a different time you've experienced you know different formats so that's like where you value yeah you know, those things you just can't get away from yeah, modern um, is the last 20 years of, you know magic that's crazy i, mean, to I, think. I grew up during that time you know, yeah. or I, I grew up playing Magic like in 2003, for sure. Like, that's uh, yeah, that's like post whatever. <laughs> that's definitely post invasion block, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. Invasion was like 99. Uh, but regardless, I, I do, I agree with your previous point, which is to say that the, the most, like, the last three sets of Magic have been very face rolly. Yeah. Uh, but I think, yeah, during the time that I played Magic, obviously, I and mean, it's just like a skewed, you know. It's skewed like, oh, your favorite music is around the time that you were a teenager. Your favorite magic is around the time that you uh, played magic. No, I don't think that's not for me. I try to. I mean, you know, I really did do enjoy. I did play this. This like well, today was the first time I've ever done a tempest draft in my life. You know, mm -hmm. and I I think it's pretty sweet. Like, nice. I like the. I really do like lower power level magic. Honestly, it's more fun to me. Uh, because like a lot of this stuff it, today is just like so powerful. Like in my draft earlier, I had Merfolk Looter, and it was doing work. And I was like, now they have a Merfolk Looter that's a one three. When you cast an instant or sorcery, it untaps, and you can flip it into a five five. That when it takes damage, your opponent has to sacrifice permanence. You know, it's like so. It, it's like you know, it's crazy good. You know, power, but, power creep is something for sure. Yeah, but like I feel like I'm, you know, well, you know, this is ridiculous to say, but like, uh, like I used the analogy earlier when I like first started playing League of Legends, I was garbage and I had to have runes, and I felt like the runes were mandatory, right? Then I made a Smurf account 
but barely a smurf because I was a bronze player, you know? And I started to be play people without runes that people against people that were using runes and I, you know, was holding my own. And then I put the runes on and it was game over, you know? It was like putting rocket boots on, you know? Mm -hmm. So it felt like if you're able to steer victories with this, you're going to be able to steer victories better in modern magic, you know? Uh, and, like, we still had saying... a lot of interesting moments in this draft and decisions yeah, no, to mean, be made, always... you know? Yes, there are it's sequences cool. that, that were more sophisticated than I think you would make in modern magic uh, in terms of, like, discussion, like, what the line is. Uh, you're having to play it also... much further out, right? Yeah. I just, Isn't I just play like... the better card. Yes. I think... I think magic is more equivalent to sports where like, or I guess like NASCAR where the cars are, uh, they start at a certain level where it's like a little more janky. Like you have four wheels and an engine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like modern NASCAR is just like, they're basically supercars with like shells on them. Yeah. So everything's been so mid max that even the design is showing like where she, the design of magic is becoming more streamlined. But like the people that drive those supercars today, when they were kids, they rode go karts. You know what I mean? Yep. And then they upgrade. They were good at go karts, so they upgraded a little bit. The thrill. They started going a little faster. Went to the next type of car that's a little bit faster. And you know, they didn't just for eight years old. They were like, right, drive around the, you know, the track, sunny. You know, like, uh, that's how. That is a very good analogy. I like that. And that's how I. That's what I see. This. I see this as like bumper cars and go karts, and it's fun. You know. You, know, you still get the thrill of playing magic, you know? Um, yeah, I think the bumper card thing is, is definitely uh, applicable and true. I think uh, the way things have worked out, um, where you can kind of go down on a lower level of, like, from NASCAR to bumper cars, mm -hmm. it feels more casual. Or, like, yeah. driving a car to going to, like, a racetrack with your buddies and you yeah, guys are, sure. you know, doing loops around the thing, and it's fun. Yeah, so I, I think in that sense, yeah, this is like a fun format for that. Yeah, for sure, I agree with that. Now, I also let's like, uh, I don't know, like everybody get in the bumper car, join some Tempest drafts, you know, yeah. have fun, enjoy it. And I hope you enjoyed this content. And uh, thanks, you, Ilya, for hanging out with me. I had a lot of fun, my friend. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, of course. Uh, get in the comments, hit that bell, press the thumbs up. Goddamn you, comment you fucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and never forget every hole of goal, okay? Yeah. Kick ass, take names, and up motherfucking tank. Be good to yourselves and others. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, blah, for blah, sure. Blah, 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 blah. Be good to others. Blah, blah, blah. Give them the good to get. You know, <laughs> right. they got to get some too. That's right. <laughs> Pass it around. Bring it around, Tag. Exactly. Right. Later, everybody. Peace.